Thanks for staying up late with us for Color 10 News after March Madness. I'm Heather Lewis. And I'm David Oliver. And speaking of March Madness, there was some maroon madness today on the campus of Missouri State. The Lady Bears got a nice send off as they head to the Sweet 16. Our Jesse Inman was there as they hit the road for Chicago. The Lady Bears felt the love and support of their hometown fans today, but if you go back before the season began, they weren't exactly feeling that same love from the experts who didn't even have them making the tournament. But since they've gotten there, they have definitely shaken things up, and they look to continue to do so as they left Springfield today for the Windy City. Greeted by a crowd of cheering fans and faculty, the Lady Bears loaded up today to hit the road for Chicago. They'll be in the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2001, that team was led by current assistant coach Jackie Stiles. Up until a couple years ago, no woman had ever scored as many points as she did in college hoops. And the man at the helm of the athletic department at that time was Bill Rowe. He says a big difference was that other teams knew who to focus on. Well, the 2001, of course, Jackie was the, uh, she was, she had already set the NCAA scoring record then. And, and I think it was probably more attention was paid on Jackie, which she would admit herself. She wanted it to be spread out. Another difference, the Lady Bears entered the tournament as a five seed in 2001, this year as an 11 seed, which makes this run maybe even more amazing to this point. The underdog nature of the Lady Bears has spread across campus. Editor-in-chief at the Missouri State student newspaper, The Standard, is Cortland Stark. She says that hype has even taken over some classes. A lot of general excitement. I know that, uh, for instance, I wasn't in this class, but a lot of my friends were in this class. When Bree Ellis walked back to the class on Tuesday, she, they, they clapped for her. So everybody was really excited about that. Definitely sounds like everybody's pretty excited. I think they were like the lowest seed, I think, still alive. And, yeah, people are pretty pumped about that because we're kind of a smaller D1 school. It's not exactly a magic pumpkin, but the Cinderella's of this year's NCAA Women's Tournament, the Missouri State Lady Bears, were whisked away to the ball today as they hope to keep on dancing. Nobody expected them to be there in the first place, but hey, if the glass slipper fits, wear it. In Springfield, Jesse Inman, Ozarks First.